Today's National Get Outdoors Day. Yep, definitely gonna need one of these. All right guys, so we're out here in the middle of the trail. I figured this would be a good place as any to uh, give you guys a new update on the JL. If you watched my last video on the Harkin hoister for the hardtop, we got that installed, got the hardtop off, worked like a charm this morning. Uh, super effortless, love it. Uh, you may have seen some upgrades in that video, so in this video I'm gonna show you guys um, the new updates. So all around, we got the new AEV wheels. These are uh, 17 by eight and a half. So these wheels are actually designed for the JK model, but um, I actually like the stance of them compared to the JL because they stick out just a little bit more. Not so much where it's super crazy, but um, it's the right stance in my opinion. So loving these wheels. Uh, they're wrapped in BF Goodrich KO2s, 315 70 R17s, pretty much a 35 inch tire. I also got these in a load range C. Uh, which was different from my load range e before and i can say the ride is much more comfortable so if you're patient order the order the load range c because the ride is so much better than uh, the load range e the, the wrangler just doesn't need that high of a load index rating so we'll take a walk to the front where most of the action is happening got a little muddy all right so in the front quite a few upgrades we ditched these cheap ebay yellow lights and ended up going with some baja designs xlr sports they look really good oh i got ducked today you know what that is look it up but that happened this morning <laughs> first time pretty cool i'll probably keep this as a memento all right so got some baja designs up on top went with a worn vr evo winch uh, it's only 8,000 pounds. Uh, I know the rules, one and a half times your, your vehicle weight, but uh, I went ahead and purchased, uh, picked up a snatch block, so that should double the uh, towing towing power. So if I'm anywhere around 15, 16,000 pounds, that should be more than enough to get me out of any sticky situation. Um, got some ARB IPFs. These are super bright. Um, so we got the Warren mounted up to the new bumper. This is the new bumper. This is a barricade uh, tracker, tracker I believe. Uh, it's their new version. Uh, it actually comes with a hoop, like a bull bar, but I wasn't a fan of it, so I kept that off. I think it looks a little, a little cleaner. Uh, so that allowed me to purchase the winch, mount that on there, and then it went, went with the Factor 55 flat link. So that should get me out of any tricky situations. 
Uh, ditched the factory fogs, went with um, some LEDs down there. Uh, they're more of a darker fog light, so it kind of blends in with the bumper better. So that's the front end there for you. And I can't get over how much I love these AEV wheels. They look really good. These are actually beadlock capable. I didn't purchase the ring. I'm running them as um, just standard mounting. So they are DOT approved. But you can see the 35s do fill out the wheel wells pretty good. And these things ride amazing. So also we'll go ahead and go to the back here. Um, so I got my um, I got my packs mounted up on top. Uh, we went ahead and we ditched the factory, uh, not factory, but the shock extensions that we were running with our lift kit. So I went ahead and ditched those shock extensions and got some proper length shocks. So these are the Rancho RS5000 shocks. Um, I went with the white one. I kind of like it because it plays off the JL color. And not a super huge difference between the Rubicon stock shocks and, and these ones, but I am happy that I got rid of the uh, shock extensions. So we got some proper length shocks. I think it looks pretty good and the ride overall is very comfortable. So that's pretty much it for the upgrades. Um, went ahead and I put the CB mount antenna back here again. Didn't carry the traction boards, didn't think I need it now that I got the winch. But got some my, my extra spare fuel cans up there. And those are the new updates. So I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this. It's been a fun day out here, it's beautiful, super sunny, um, not too hot, about 80 degrees, so very comfortable. We're going to go ahead and hit some more trails, and uh, I'll catch you guys in a future video. Thanks.